Where Americans Move to Retire in 2021. This is a fun article uh, we're going to go into. It's completely misleading, and I'm going to share with you why. Um, but it's fun. So let's dive into this. Hold on a second. Now, this is from Financial Advisor Magazine, dateline February 22nd, uh, February 2022, excuse me. Um, <laughs> I'm laughing because when I actually show you the numbers, like, oh, that's it. The idea that all these people from New York are moving to Georgia. They're going to take over the South with their liberal politics. It's crazy. Anyway, so let's check this out here. All things being equal, would you expect because of COVID to have seen a spike in the number of people who moved for retirement? Didn't happen. Quite the contrary. The number of retirees who moved in 2021 was, what, 226,000. Hmm. 226,000 retirees moved in 2021. It's also the lowest number of American retirees in the last five years who had moved in retirement. Now, I want to share with you something else, because a lot of people say, yeah, but it's not just retirees who are moving down here from New York and California and taking over Idaho and taking over red states. It's non-retirees. And we're just going to chuckle at that here in just a little bit. All right. I actually did a video on this a number of years ago. Probably my first year of doing videos, I, I realized there isn't a huge migration from state to state. A little bit, but not much. It's not, just not happening the way people think. They're all coming from Connecticut. They're going to make us blue. No, they're not. All right. Moving for retirement was down in uh, 2021. Why did people not move for retirement? They're going to say because of COVID. Well, I guess that makes sense. The housing market. as a, After a turbulent 2020, the housing market rebounded would be a huge understatement. Prices continue to climb at record pace. Now, I don't know it's a housing market because you can sell it. You know what I mean? It's, it's climbing on both sides of the equation, your side on the sell and the buy side too. So I'm not quite sure that's the case actually. Um, but be that as it may, I just think there's not that many houses available, frankly. That's what I think is happening. Why? It's tough to say. Maybe people are content to stay where they're at. Retire in place. Nothing wrong with that. Maybe moving is a pain in the butt, which it is. This was funny. The lack of retirement savings. What? <laughs> So five years ago, we had more retirement savings than we do now. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, many Americans lack retirement savings, which they had to spend to support themselves during the pandemic. The situation has arguably gotten worse in recent years. With, with, and there are evidence is one study, which they don't highlight and say where that study is, saying that 14 million Americans stopped contributing to their pension plans. Like, what, huh? This the whole of their pensions, that including defined contribution plans. Where's the link to show us so we can read the study? And just because they stopped contributing, to, I don't know, that's just weird. All right, uh, despite the dwindling numbers of retiring Americans uh, decide, uh, despite the dwindling numbers of retiring Americans deciding to relocate, those who did made the decision to travel a lot further, i.e. they left their state. All right, so let's take a look. We're going to see, and this is where they went. They went to Tennessee, Florida, Pennsylvania, South, South, Mid-Atlantic, South, South, Midwest, South, South, uh, Northeast, and in the South. So this is where retirees went. All right, so we already established that only 226,000 retirees, households, I suppose, uh, moved. All right, that's it. Now, we also can establish here the number of people who actually uh, moved, 36% of the uh, entirety of the uh, retirees moved within the U.S., 36%. So we know that 226, all right, so let, let me share what I'm saying. 226,000 retirees moved, which that's 36% of the total number of moving. So what we do is we take 226 and we divide that by, I think it's 50, uh, where is it here? It was divided by 58%. So we're going to say two, uh, we don't divide by that, but we do, take 226, divide by uh, 36. That gives us 627 households moved in 2021. That's it, 627, of which 58% were non-retirees. All right, 36% were retirees. So 627 times 0.36 is going to be 226. I hope that makes sense. So, you with me so far? So 226 divided by 0.36 gives us 627,000 households moved in 2021. Of those 627,000 households that moved within 2021, 40 moved in the same state. 40% moved in the same state. 
All right, so 627,000 moved in 2021, 40% moved in the same state. So we can say 627, we times that by 0. 0.4. That's 251,000 households moved in the same state, say safe in Georgia. They did not move from Connecticut to Georgia, for instance. All right, so far so good. 47% uh, of the retirees who moved, moved to a different state, 47%. But 47% of, uh, uh, is only of 36% of the retirees moved. 47% of the 226,000 retirees moved. So 226 times 0.47. That's all of 106,000 households moved to a different state. That's it. That's it, my friends. 100,000 households retirees moved outside of their current state. That's it. All right, then 16% of the remainder, so 16% of that 58.16 times 0.58, that's 9% of the entirety moved on top of that. <laughs> so we have 627,000 households that moved. 9% were not retirees who moved out of state. So 627 times 0 0.9. That's uh, 627 times, we'll just say 9%. That's 56,000 households. 47% of the retirees moved out of state, which is the equivalent of 106,000 households. So when all is said and done, all of 162,000 households moved out of state. That is it. In a country full of 330 million people, 162,000 households moved. So if we look at 162 divided by one second, that is less than one half of 1% of the entirety of the U.S. population moved out of state. Now, as I said in the video I did a number of years ago, and I just, I can't remember it, but the vast majority of retire of people who move stay in state, if not even in county. In fact, you can even see here, I've done this right here, and we can take the charts. 26% uh, of all retire of all people who move, move to a new state. That's it, 26%. 627,000 people moved, 26% moved to a new state. <laughs> um, only 19% even moved to a new county. 627,000 family moved, 26% moved to a new state, 19% moved to a new county. Over half stayed in the same county. Half the people who moved in 2021 stayed in the same county. Isn't that interesting? Again, we're not talking about huge numbers, not enough to change much in terms of your politics. It's just not, I'd say what changed politics is the uh, the lack of securing the vote with uh, mail-in and absentee ballots. Uh, you know, that's, that's how they got Trump. There's no other way, look, it's designed, no other way around that. So the states with the most retirees moved 13% were in Tennessee, What moved to Tennessee. All right, well, we have 100 and, what do you say, 6,000 households moved of which basically 13,500 moved to Tennessee. Yeah, that's not gonna move the needle that much, it's just not. Now that might move the needle a little bit here in Georgia, 6,000 votes if they all moved to Fulton County and they moved from uh, New Jersey, yeah. Because Fulton County is, uh, well, actually well, not, it's not even Fulton County. Well, I mean, they could move the needle in some close states. Uh, none of these other ones jump, man, maybe North Carolina, maybe Pennsylvania, not much, so. Point being is, man, stop worrying about these people coming in from the north or from the California or something like that. Washington, they're going to change your politics. It's just, it's just not there, man. If anything, it happens to change the politics for the red. You know, Texas becoming redder. Uh, Idaho is coming uh, redder. We want people from California to move. We want them to move to purple states because most people who move from these these states, they're not moving because they they uh, love the politics. They're moving to get the hell out of there. So encourage it. All right. Love your thoughts. We'll see you.